Hey y'all, so I am still in Detroit, Michigan, and we decided to stop at Burlington, honey. Burlington got some good stuff, y'all. Let me show y'all. I'm gonna y'all come shopping with me so I can pick out some stuff from Burlington and see what I can see. And I'm just gonna be showing y'all everything that I see in Burlington. Let's go. This one is cute. Go ahead. This one is cute. It's only $19.99. That's cute by London Fog. I don't know if she gonna like it or not. I wish she was woke. Oh, she says book bags. Back to school book bags. That's cute. Father's egg is cute. I don't want one. And climb, huh? Steve Madden totes come with a little wallet. It's nice. Pretty fall green. Pretty. $24.99. Looks like Valentino, but it's Vera, New York. That's cute. $39.99. Ann Klein. I had an Ann Klein watch that last me. When I say years, years. Found this little outfit. That's nice. With the little pants to match. It's only $8.99. Good religion for him. Oh, it's nice. It got that on the back. That's nice. It's a 2T, too. Let's see how much it is. $7.99. That's nice. 2T. Not bad, $9.99. You can find like a little shirt to go with it. Jogging suit. That's nice. $19.99, but I picked up him one already. I got some 2 t jeans. It really ain't into. Dang, they $16.99. I guess because they Levi's. I'm a little bit too high. Oh, baby. Shark, 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 the shark, the shark. Paw Patrol. Good vibes on it. That's kind of nice. Toy Story. I like Toy Story. Yeah. But this is coming up right there, so I don't like that. Also, I don't really like that. Not for my puka. These are more my price range, these. I kind of like them. They look too long for him, though. These are too T. Puka is small. He's only $5.99. She like him with a skinny fit jeans. I guess. These kids, they do different stuff. These chains are nice. This shirt, though. Oh, look at this. The Jordan outfit. That's nice, but it's $21. Another gas shirt. That's nice. $5.99. Oh, $12.99. That's nice for this two-piece set. I might get that for him. More Nike or Jack. What is it, Jordan? Kind of like this, a two piece set. That's $21.99. The Adidas shirt to go with the Adidas shorts over there. $5.99. He looks good in red, too. That was him and his dad's favorite color. Well, that was his dad's favorite color. And he looks good. Puka look good in red, so. More True Religion. It's nice. Baby, shark, 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 to shark, to shark. <laughs> oh, now he like these uh, uh, Goofy, Mickey. He likes all of them, but it's a long sleeve. Spider-Man. It's nice, maybe. This one more better. 
I think I like that Spider-Man better than this Spider-Man. The Avengers. A two-piece set, huh? That's nice. I seen his mom dressed him in polo. I mean, in plaid. That's actually nice. I like that kind of. Champion. That's nice. Seven ninety nine. It's not a size though. Minecraft. Wow. Of course, he's not even potty trying yet, but my my nephew loves Minecraft. Okay, now one. This guest shirt is nice. I like that guest shirt. These skinny leg jeans is only five ninety nine. So maybe I'll get these to go with one of these shirts. Adidas. Two teeth. Let's see how much it is. $18.99. That's not bad. Another two piece set. $19.99. Okay, so that's nice. A true religion three piece. So it comes with the shirt. It comes with the joggers. And again, we live in Chicago, so we have still cold days in the summer. And then it comes with another shirt. I like that. And the price is only $14.99. That's nice. Okay, y'all, I think that's the end of the boys. It's one sleeper. $4.99, that's nice. Paw Patrol. Jordan. Brand of the flight, that's nice. $19.99. Okay, y'all, I'm gonna come back. I think I'm gonna go to um, some more two teeth. I think I'm gonna go to the... Uh, that's a nice Jordan. I think I'm gonna go to the uh, shoe section maybe, or either housewares, one of those, and see what they got. Okay, let's go to the shoe section and then we out of here. Okay, y'all, so I got home from Burlington and I just wanna show y'all all the stuff I got. So I got Puka a lot of stuff, y'all. We're going to start with the first bag. So I picked out this purse. I was really kind of on a fence about it because I was just like, hmm, should I, should not? I don't know. I don't know. But out of all the purses I picked, this is the one that I picked. So this is the one that I picked. I thought it was cute. It was $32. And this is how it looks. It came with three purses. So, this, it came with like a, I don't know, a mini purse, which is cute. Like a um, crossbody mini purse. And then it came with a wallet. So, I was like, okay, okay, okay. So, I, I don't know. Like I said, I was undecided. I walked around for a little while, and then the people that I was with was like, it's cute, just get it. And I'm like, all right. Only thing I didn't like was this bow. I really don't like purses with bows. It looked cheesy to me. So that was the only thing that was throwing me off. If this bow wasn't on here, I would have got it. I don't like bows on my purse, so I don't know. I guess it's cute or whatever. So I purchased that. Again, it was $32. And then... I purchased a lot of stuff for Puka. So I'm just gonna go through some of the things that I picked up for him. Okay, so for the first outfit, we picked out this um, Reebok outfit. It was $12.99. So when you're going to Burlington and you're trying to shop for your kids, it's best to pick out two piece sets if you can because that way you can mix and match the outfit. So after he wears it as a set, he can wear the, the outfit, the the he can wear the jacket with a different kind of pants, and then he can wear the jogging pants with a different shirt. So that way you can get a lot of looks out of one piece and you only pay $12.99. So when you're shopping, make sure you pick out more sets than you do um, just separate pieces. So that was one of the outfits. I picked him up a, not another two-piece set, and this is a polo shirt, a Wrangler, $10.99. And I thought this was a nice, it's a polo shirt with some pants to go with it. Next thing I picked up was this guest outfit. I thought this was so nice. So it's another two piece set. I got a lot of two piece sets for him as guests. It looks nice. And then it came with the jogging pants. 
and it got guests on the back of it. So it got guests on the back of the here. Right here. And I just thought that was really nice. Um, this outfit was, I don't know how much this outfit was because it don't have a, I don't have a price on it. So I don't know how much it was. All right, this is a three piece set, True Religion. And it came with a shirt, a True Religion shirt. It came with the joggers, the master shirt. And then it came with another shirt. So three pieces. This is the second part of the um, outfit. So three pieces. And the price of this was $14.99. The next thing I picked him up was some Puma shorts. He, this is just his comfortable, casual day. So just some Puma shorts. And then he can wear like a white t-shirt or something with it. And it came with two pair. So that was the first pair. And then it came with a second pair that just has Puma right here. And I thought that that was nice. And the price of these were $11.99. Still staying with the sets. I picked some up a polo shirt. That was nice. And then it came with a pair of uh, just casual jeans to go with it. And the price of this outfit was $8.99. Okay, so I picked him up a two-piece outfit, Jordan, Air Jordan. This is how the joggers look. It has Jordan right here. And then it has the shirt to go with it. So that's how the shirt looks that goes with it. And it's just a nice, comfortable outfit. These were $19.99. So I always pick them up something that's a little expensive mixed in with some, some cheap items. So $19.99. And he actually has some shoes to go with this. They match all these colors. They got all these colors in the shoes. So that's why I thought about this outfit to match with those Nikes that I bought him a couple weeks ago. All right, I picked him up some Carm some Marvel, some Carmel, some Marvel um character shirt shorts. He's really not into Marvel. Like he's still into like Mickey Mouse and a mini mouse Mickey Mouse, Goofy, all those characters. He's really not into the Marvel characters yet, but I think he knows Spider-Man, so I got him some of this. So it's just some regular shorts too. And they come with these on the on the side. It has that on there. Uh, $9.99. Then I got him some guest shorts to match a shirt. Let me see if I can find a shirt. So this, these shorts are guests also. I was really on a fist about these because I don't know if men wear or boys wear like the little ruffle, whatever. We'll know. My daughter tell me if she like them or not. So these are also guests. And then I got a, a guest um, shirt to go with them. Then I picked him up uh, a Nautica shirt. So the Nautica shirt. So I, I usually pick him up red. And the price for this was $5.99. Uh, I couldn't find any else thing, anything else that was Nautica. But I did pick up these Hurley jogging pants because in a little while we'll be going into fall. So I picked, I'm picking them up jogging suits too. Because we got about a good two more months in Chicago with weather we in july we got august september by october be cold so we had a good two months 5.99 on clearance these are original price 9.99 hurley is a good brand i couldn't find my shirt to go with it but it's just some jogger pants you could wear a white shirt to go with it up some pants the children's place they're skinny jeans they're a nice pretty blue color and they were 5.99 get some up these steve's jeans they're like a acid wash. And I thought that was real nice. Cause he don't I haven't seen him in any pants with an acid wash. And but they're skinny leg. Cause I think his mom put puts them in skinny leg jeans. So I bought him a couple skinny leg jeans. And these are $8.99. And the last thing that I picked up for him was this uh Spider-Man t-shirt. I thought that was really nice. Spider-Man, it's like a tie-dye Spider-Man. And this shirt was $5.99. Okay, and then that's it for my brother's haul for Puka. And then on my way out, I picked up a couple of things from Marshalls. Let me just show you. I picked out me another um Adidas uh hat. The reason why I say another is because little baby be taking my hats and I never see them again. 
I had an Adidas hat. I ain't seen Adidas hat since I started letting her wear it. It was a blue Adidas hat just like this, but the, um, it got something on it too. The Adidas was like a dark Adidas. So anyway, I picked up another blue jean Adidas hat because I don't know where my other hat is. Maybe it'll come up. If not, then I got another one. And this hat was $12.99. I picked up some graphic tees because I want to cut some up and add some rhinestones to them. I've been seeing the girls um, on TikTok cut their tees up. So I think I'm going to cut me a couple tees up and bling them out. I really liked them. I was going to buy one offline. It was like $70. And I was like, no, ma'am. So I'll be cutting masks up. I love this Poetic Justice um, Tupac t-shirt. I love that. Let me show y'all so y'all can see the full picture. I thought that was really nice. And then at the it says street, a street romance. And then at the bottom, it just says Poetic Justice South Central. So I thought that was really nice. I picked up another graphic tee. <laughs> I don't know why I could not put this shirt down, y'all. But it's a Miller Lite. And I'm not a beer drinker, but I love this shirt for some reason. Maybe because the graphics on it caught my eye. But it's pretty much the, the Miller Lite logo. I know when I wear this shirt, everybody's going to be asking me, do I drink beer? I already know. But it's fashion, and I liked it. So I could not put this middle light shirt up. The quality is a thin quality. It says something on the back. What does this say? Oh, it's by a brand called T Love. And it was $7.99. My last graphic tee, I picked up this Malcolm X tee. And again, this is from Marshalls. And this is how this looks. I shouldn't have folded in this bag, so now I'm going to have to hang it up. So um, it uh all the wrinkles will come out. So this one is nice. Be peaceful, be courteous, obey the law, respect everyone. But if someone puts his hands on you, send him to the cemetery. Woo, that's what this church say. That's deep. Mm, mm, mm. Well, Malcolm X shirt. I thought that was nice. $9.99. Pick up some more bonnets. Now, I usually get them from the, um, not the Dollar Tree. Well, I get them from the Dollar Tree, but the big bonnets I usually get from the beauty supply store. So I seen some here and they were they are cheap price. They were $7.99. So that's about as much as I pay for them. If you have long hair, a long wig, long braids, you're gonna need a longer bonnet to keep your um braids in. I thought I, I picked up this because they had a pretty, it's a pretty um let me just open it real quick. It's a pretty what is this? Like a pretty fuchsia color. So I thought that was really pretty. And it's a really long bonnet. Look how long this bonnet is. Y'all see how long this bonnet is? It snaps at the bottom. So that's where you put your braids in or your long hair. It snaps right here. And then you just adjust it right here. Or you don't even have to adjust it. it just, it's just uh, elastic. So I picked one of those up. It, come, it came in a two-pack. One was fuchsia, which I love that fuchsia color. And the other one was black. Okay, and then the last thing I picked up was um, these sandals. They were on clearance. They're by Olivia Miller, and I thought these were so cute. They're like a nude color, and they were on clearance for $12. Um, for $12. Yep. Okay, so let me show y'all how much I spent. So listen, y'all, at Burlington, let me show, let me tell y'all about my experience at Burlington. My experience in Burlington was really difficult. The first cashier I walked up to, she rang up all my items. These, all these cashiers were new. I can tell by the way the manager was instructing them to do stuff. They didn't, they were new. So the first one I went to, she rang up all my items. I was playing with my Apple Pay and came to find out the register wasn't set up to get Apple Pay. So the manager came over there and had to like suspend my transaction and take me to another register. Before she took me there, she made sure that the register had Apple Pay. So when we found a register that has Apple Pay, she took me there. This girl was new. She rang, My first total was 173. The second register I went to, they rang me up. My total was 190. So I'm like, hmm, that's weird. Why is my total 190? But it was 173 down there. So in my man, I said, I should have just paid with my debit card. Instead of having them do Apple Pay because I pay it was cheaper down there for some reason. So the lady, I said, the lady, I said it was my. I told the manager she was still standing there. So after the lady rang me up, I said my my total was cheaper down there. It was one seventy three. It's one ninety down here. 
So the manager was like, I'm sorry. She said, let me, let me ring you up. So she rang me up. When she rang me up, my total was 196. <laughs> so at this point, I got three different totals, 173, 190. And when the manager rang me up, I got 196. Okay, so she can kind of see I was frustrated because y'all could see that, that was a lot of clothes that I had to re-ring. Everybody that was with me had already got their stuff rang up and was sitting in the car waiting on me. I was in there an extra 30 minutes waiting for them to figure out how to get me to pay. So once we rang up this transaction for the third time now, the manager was so nice. She said, you know, for the inconvenience, I'm going to give you my discount. And she gave me her discount, and that took off like 40 dollars. So my total out-of-pocket for Pukas, um, my Burlington, my whole Burlington haul, it was originally $196. Once she put her 20% discount on there, it went down to $150, $157. So it went down, I'm sorry, it went down to $148 before taxes. So it took off a total of... Um, $37. So when she scanned her card or whatever to give me the 20% discount, it took off a total of $37, making my out of pocket $148.66 before the before taxes. After taxes, I paid a total of $158, I mean about $157. All right, so that was my, my haul for Burlington, a total of $148 for all those items plus a purse. So $148. Then when I went to Marshall's, okay, so for Marshall's, I spent a total of $64 in Marshall's, no discounts, no nothing. I actually paid, let me go back. Now, because it's back to school shopping, you have to really be mindful of what you spend money on and you got to be smart with it. So I have this app called the Zip, called the Zip app. Now with the Zip app, um... I'm going to put a screenshot of the logo on my phone. When you sign up for the Zip app, you pretty much pay in four installments. So the first installment, they're going to take out your bank account. Whatever bank account you link, they don't accept prepaid cards. So you have to link a regular bank account. They don't accept prepaid card. I think you can link Chime, but you can't link Chase. I mean, you can link, link, you can link Chime, but you can't link Cash App. It don't accept Cash App or you're going to use your regular bank account. Now, once you um, sign up with Zip, you're able to pay for your transaction anywhere, anywhere your heart desires. You're going to be able to pay with four installments. That's why I like Zip because I can go into any store and pay in four installments. So, for instance, $157, I had to put down, they had to take $51 out of my bank account, and then I have three more payments of um, $51 to pay off my transaction. So, if you want to save money, Instead of doing layaway, which layaway is pretty much non-exempt. They don't even do layaway no more. This is kind of like layaway, but you actually get your items before you get home. Layaway, you couldn't pick up your items until after you pay off your final balance. This, you get all your items now, and you just make payments on it um, for the next three weeks. So I, I, if you're trying to go school shopping for your kids, and you're short on money, or you might not have a whole $157 to spend now, sign up with the Zip app. I also paid for Zip when I went to Marshalls too. So inevitably, inevitably, I got over $200 worth of stuff that I was able to take home. And with the Zip app, I only put down 51 plus like $18 or something like that for the $64. I put in like $18. So I only spent out of my pocket a total of like $70 for over $200 worth of items. And as time go on, you just make sure that you have the money in your bank account so when they draft your account for your remaining payments, you can pay them. Now, let me just also tell you, Zip also increases your um your spending limit. So the more on-time payments you pay with Zip, so the more on-time payments that you pay, the more they will increase your limit. So with Zip, I've never missed a payment with Zip. So my Zip balance goes up almost each month. So for me... I'd rather have a credit card that I can take anywhere instead of just getting a department store credit card because with a department store credit card, you mostly can only shop there. With Zip, you can shop anywhere that you want. You pay in four. I will make sure that I keep the link for Zip to sign up with Zip, Zip in my description box. Make sure you click the link. If you're a first-time user, you're going to get a $10 credit. Once you sign up the first time with Zip, you're going to get a $10 credit to use. So they're going to credit your account $10. So that is, that's a little bit of a start right there. You can pick something, a $50 um, 
go and spend fifty dollars somewhere they'll give you ten dollar credit and then all you have to come up with is less than another ten maybe not even anything after you pay the ten dollars you probably might only have to come up with five or ten more dollars maybe i don't know so your first transaction pretty much is going to be on them they'll give you ten dollars to use the first time you use it so make sure you check the description box below and sign up for zip it was zip you can go anywhere you want um they're going to increase your credit limit if you pay make all your payments on time and you can just shop and do whatever you need to do on and pay in four payments again zip is going to be linked in the description box below all right y'all so that's the end of my burlington haul and slash marshall's haul i just threw that in at the end i hope you all enjoyed my haul if you have any questions please comment in the comments below and i'll make sure i can answer them as soon as i can i usually answer all my my comments um if you haven't noticed, I usually answer all my comments. I answer all the questions and comments. So ask me any questions or comments you have below. Thank you all for watching. Hecky now, Joe. It's Beauty Passion. And I'm out.